I'm taking a page out of one of my favorite YouTube channels and one of their video series, 10 Things You May Not Know About X. But this time we're gonna talk about Una Deuce. So there's 10 things that you may not know about Una Deuce, probably. What's going on everybody? I'm Paul Schmidt, the owner and creative video strategist for Introduce Multimedia. And uh, this week on Paul Talk, I'm going to give a list of things you may not have known about Introduce since we're celebrating our 20th year, as you probably have heard. And as we have it all branded, it's been 20 years since we started. So let's get right into the list of things that you might not have known. Number one, Introduce was established on 9-11-2001. So the day that the planes hit the towers, I was at already at work developing and doing all the administrative stuff, getting the website up and ready to go before I was interrupted for the rest of the day. But it is actual, that was the actual day that, we, that I started the business. Number two, what does the name Uno Deuce mean? Well, Uno Deuce really breaks down as an embodiment of myself. Number one, the Uno is really a tie to my Italian heritage. Um, and then the Deuce is also a reference to the number two. I'm a Gemini, Geminis are twins. The number two is very prevalent in a lot of things that um, have happened with me. So I just decided to create something unique with that name that people will always remember. Not always able to be pronounced or spelled, but you know what? It's part of the story. Number three, sports, specifically high school sports, was a huge part of the establishment of who we are. We, uh, we did a lot of, or I did a lot of freelance uh, sports work, sports video work for uh, high schools in the Detroit area, um, specifically Macomb County, and specifically the communities of Sterling Heights, Warren, and Shelby Township. Not only that, but I did a lot of freelance work for Toronto Sports Network, ESPN, including being in a field audio engineer on the Super Bowl that happened in Detroit. Number four, over the years, we have produced videos in 13 states. That just blows me away. And those were specifically for um, events that we were asked to, to work in. And then a couple of mission trips uh, that took us to South Dakota, uh, Texas, and Oklahoma. And so we were able to tell great wide ranging stories in all of those areas. Number five. When I started the company, I specifically started it to do what we still do today, which is create stories for nonprofits, socially responsible small businesses. So that meant that we don't do weddings. I have been a videographer for weddings, but not in this country. It was for a friend of mine who had a video production company um, in Canada, Windsor specifically. Back when I started, that really segmented you into a certain industry. Nowadays, you can honestly move all the move around in different different ways. It's more welcome. But back then, when I first started the company, being a wedding wedding videographer was difficult to break into other areas. Number six, we have a history of food based programming. For example, for 12 years, we produced a cable based cooking show called Cooking with Kathy. Uh, so that was hugely su successful. It was shown in eight different communities uh, and with a viewership of over 250,000. And we also um, managed her, her uh, social media presence as well. But also there's another food-based programming that we did in the around 2010 through 2012 called Functified Food with Dan Valencourt, who was a Midland, Michigan-based musician who did a lot of really crazy recipes that he created. And so we created a YouTube channel around that. Number seven, 
Our internship program here at Introduce has been widely successful. We've had over 35 interns come through this program in which a lot of them have gone on to really exciting things in the world and uh, the world of advertising and social media and uh, television and film. We've had interns go on to organizations like Pepsi, BuzzFeed, Central Michigan University, Detroit Public Television, uh, a couple of local television stations here, as well as an intern who just finished a feature for Netflix that will be coming out in 2022. And so, and not only that, but we've had three former interns become full-time employees at Unaduce at, 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 at certain times, including one, James Van Zyl, who's here currently. The last three revolve around specific clients or projects. One of the coolest projects that we've done is we were asked to do DVD extras for a friend of mine who was producing an independent film in Chicago uh, about a Langston Hughes poem. And so we were able to go to Chicago and do all the uh, DVD extras about behind the scenes, about the makeup and costuming, about the visual effects, because it was a very visual effects heavy film. So that was one of the more interesting projects that we were able to do. One of the questions I get the most is, what is the weirdest project that we've ever worked on? And I would have to say that one of our clients was a vet, veterinarian, that was the foremost authority on artificial insemination for goats. And so we were asked to create a six part training video series that taught vets across the country how to do that. And the reason why that's a necessary situation is something you'll have to talk to me about. And lastly, our oldest client is still a current client. Client number three, Living Water Ministries, based in the west side of Michigan, is a Lutheran Christian camp that has been with us almost near the beginning. And in fact, our client number one was absorbed as a ministry within their ministry. And so, so technically they're number one and number three, and we still do work with them today. And it's amazing to see their growth alongside our growth. And there you have it, 10 things you may not have known about Introduce Multimedia. And there are plenty of other stories that I didn't even get to because 20 years is a long time. Thank you for sticking with us. Don't forget to check out our website, subscribe to the email newsletter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on all the social platforms for all the stuff that's happening that's Introduce. And until next time, I'm looking forward to seeing you out there.